Hey everybody, let's keep practicing using the method of sections. So for this problem, we're looking for the axial forces here, here, and here. So we should just cut a section right through those three. Okay, and then now it's up to us to pick either the left side or the right side. I'll just draw both of them. Okay, so like that. And then the other section looks like this. And then the left side section has the support, so if I pick coordinates, then there's a reaction at A, which I'll decompose, and then the right side section has the roller at G. Okay, now let me label these axial forces. This one is BC, this one is CE, and then for the load, this force F is here, and then this 2F is over here. Okay, so given load F, let's find the axial forces in AB, BC, CE. So already I see that this side has one, two, three, four, five unknowns. This side has four unknowns. No matter which side we pick, we don't have enough equations. So we have no choice but to do the free body diagram of the whole structure. Right, the whole thing. So it's the entire structure. We don't care about the individual members. All that matters is there's a load here and here, and there's a pin here, and a roller here. Okay, but then when we write our equations We have three equations for three unknowns, the three reactions. So let's do this first. So in the x direction, um, is that it? That's it. Okay, y direction, minus f, minus 2f. Okay, let's sum torque about somewhere where we can get rid of our unknowns. So either here or here would be clever. Okay, if we sum torque about here, there's still going to be torque due to these two unknowns. But if we sort sum torque about here, there would only be torque about from this one unknown. So let's do that. That's cleverer. So torque about A. So the lever arm here to here, uh, here to here, is one meter. One meter times F, and that's going to create a torque this way which is in the negative z direction. The torque from 2f goes this way, also in the negative direction, negative, two meters, oh, and then here to here is two meters, right? 2f, and then the torque from g is going this way in the positive z direction, and the lever arm from here to here is three meters. Okay, so then here are the unknowns. Okay, so three equations, three unknowns. Solve this for G, plug it in here, then you get AY, AX is zero. Okay, so now we know AX, AY, and G. So now that only leaves us three unknowns here or three unknowns here. So either way, whichever section we pick, I'm not sure which looks easier. Um, 
It's maybe about the same. How about I'll pick this section? Okay, so I'm going with the the right section. So that's some. Okay, so in the X direction, we got this, this, and that's it. Minus TAB, minus TCE equals zero. Y direction, we got this, this, and this. T, uh, negative TBC minus 2F plus G. G is known. Okay, so now let's sum torque about somewhere clever where we can get rid of unknowns. So I'm going to sum torque about right here. Because that way, there's no torque due to either of these two unknown forces. So I'm going to sum torque about point B. Okay, so now there's only torque due to this. The lever arm from here to here is one meter. And that's going to go in the negative Z direction. So negative one meter TCE. And then torque due to this going this way, which is in the negative Z direction, negative. The lever arm from here to here is one meter. And then the torque from this force is going this way, which is in the positive Z direction. And the lever arm from here to here is two meters. Okay, so plus two meters, G, G. Okay, so this is unknown. We already know G. So then solve this for CE in terms of F, plug it in here, solve for AB, and then solve this for BC. So now we know all three of them. Okay, hope that was helpful. Keep on practicing. I'll see you on the next video.